friends! Welcome back to another episode of Kayla Creates and today we are doing another marine biology video. If you couldn't tell by the title and you know the, the, the sea star on my face. Um, but today we're gonna be learning all about sea stars so specifically I'm gonna be talking about Forbes sea stars or the common sea star and this is just one that I work with um, at work. So if you guys don't know me, my name is Kelly and I am a marine biologist. I'm an environmental educator, so I love to teach all about everything that has to do with the ocean. And one really common animal that I teach about a lot are sea stars. So I call them sea stars because they're not actually fish. Um, to be considered a fish, you need to have bones, you need to have scales, and you need to have gills. And these guys don't have any of that. So I call them sea stars instead of starfish. Um, not gonna call you out if you call them a starfish. I don't really care. But it makes it easier when I am teaching other people. So sea stars are absolutely wild animals. Um, they have five arms and those are the appendages that stick out. And all over the bottom of them are tiny little things called tube feet. So they have thousands of feet on their arms, which is wild. And they use these tube feet similar to suction cups on octopuses or squids or anything like that. So these guys are extremely strong, but these tube feet are still very delicate. So if you ever find a live sea star in the wild, please don't try and pull him off the rock or maybe tr don't let him sit in your hand. If you're gonna hold him, hold him upside down so he doesn't attach to you because it keeps those tube feet very, very uh, comfortable and intact. Another really cool thing about our sea stars is that they do have eyes. So they have five eyes, one at the end of each arm. So if I was a sea star, I would have to go like this to look at you, um, but uh, their eyes are not as good as ours. So they kind of see light and dark, which is common with invertebrates. These guys do not have bones, so they are invertebrates. And they can just kind of see light and dark to see if they are hidden from any predators, maybe if something's nearby. Um, so it's more sensory parts rather than actual eyes. But one of my favorite things about sea stars is actually the way that they eat. So the way that they eat is wild, like wild. So um, I'm gonna use my hands to kind of show you guys how our sea stars are going to eat. I have five fingers like the five arms of a sea star. And one of their very favorite foods to eat are clams. So this hand's gonna be a clam. This hand's gonna be a sea star. So our sea star is gonna walk around the bottom of the ocean. They're actually relatively fast, so they actually can move about this fast. Um, but they're gonna feel around, they're going to sense with those tube feet, and then they're gonna come across this clam. And they are gonna use all of their arms and all of those tube feet to pry open the clam. When these tube feet are all working together, they're very, very strong. So they're gonna pry open that clam, but then their hands are full. So to eat the clam, they are going to take their stomach, push it through their mouth, which is in the middle of all those arms, and they are going to dissolve the clam inside the shell. And then they are going to slurp their stomach back up inside their body. That's wild. They are such cool animals. I just think that's so, so cool. But another really cool thing about our sea stars is since they are not vertebrates, they need another way to keep themselves intact. And this is uh, kind of similar to a water balloon, so that's what I kind of uh, compare them to. So uh, they use this bright orange spot, which is called their madreporite, which is a very important organ to them. They will open up their madreporite and they will let water into their body, which will then make them very, very hard and rigid. And this is how they become um, really hard to pull off of a rock, so they're gonna really grab onto that rock and pump themselves full of water, so you can't just pull them off very easily. But if they wanna move around, they will let water back out through their tube feet, and then they're able to move around. So if they're full of water, they're going to be kinda hard, like if you fill a water balloon with water, but if you let a little bit of that water out, they're gonna be slightly floppy so that they can move around. And the very last thing about sea stars that I wanna tell you guys, I don't wanna talk your ears off, is 
that how they can regrow their parts. So in the center of our sea star, there is an area right around the middle that's on the inside of them. This is kind of like their nerves. And this is called their like circular ring. And as long as there is one, a little bit of that nerve from that circle, it can regrow into another sea star. So sometimes a sea star will lose an arm and it will actually crawl around for a little while until it runs out of nutrients. This is called a zombie arm. But if you actually cut a sea star like in half, most of the time it's going to become two separate sea stars. So sometimes that arm is gonna have a little bit of that circular ring on the inside, that circular nerve, and it's going to grow into another animal, which is wild. So cool, amazing, amazing creatures. With that being that, I am going to jump right into the makeup. I hope that you enjoyed yourself. I hope you learned something and whoop, on we go. Okay, so I normally start with my eyes, but today I'm gonna be starting with my skin because I'm gonna be doing a big eye look somewhere. Um, so I'm gonna be starting with face primer. So I'm gonna be using my Benefit Professional Primer. Okay, so um, the foundation that I'm going to be using today is my The Ordinary just coverage foundation. Um, this is the shade Light Neutral, and this is actually a little bit too dark for me, but um, my other foundation is way too light for me, so yay! And for concealer, my e.l.f. one. I guess that color isn't too bad. And to set my face, Everyday Vacay Powder. And then I think I'm gonna paint the Sea Star on my face before I do the eyeshadow on the other side, just to see what colors I end up using, and then I can make them match. So I'm gonna be using my CC Beauty paint uh, palette for this whole thing. I'm gonna set it because this color isn't showing up. I'm gonna set it with the powder. Okay, so this white isn't exactly the color that I was going for, so I'm gonna be going in with just a little bit of orange. Um, so this is from my NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, um, just to give it a little bit closer to the color that I was wanting. And for the Madripore, I'm going to be using my uh, Edos Atelier uh, Neon Pigment. I'm going to be adding a little bit of shadow around the Sea Star just to make it look a little bit more real on my face. And I'm going to be using my Cargo Cosmetics Nude Beach and this shade down here, which I believe is Lincoln Road, but I'm not really sure. Okay, and then I'm going to be doing my eyebrows, but I'm gonna start with this eyebrow and see how I like it without this eyebrow first. And I'm using my uh, Benefit Cub Brow in the shade number three, I think? Three. Um, I am going to be doing... <laughs> <laughs> um, I am going to be doing eyeshadow on this eye, so I'm going to be priming it first. And because it's the first one I picked up, I'm going to be using my Pretty Vulgar uh, eye primer thing. Uncaged? I don't know. And then for my crease shade, I'm going to be using this palette again. And I'm actually going to be using the same color that I used to make the shadow, just to bring it all together. I did not like that uh, blending brush. I think I got some paint on it. It feels a little sticky, so I'm gonna be using a different one. And for my lid, I'm gonna be using the same orange that I used on the Sea Star. So, ooh, if I can get it open. This guy up here. 
And then for eyeliner, I'm using my Essence Super Precise Eyeliner. I'm not a huge fan of this, but it works. And then to contour, I'm using my Benefit Hoola Bronzer. And then I am going to be using highlighter. I don't want to use blush today. Um, this is from the Aurora Beverly, uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. And I'm going to be using this one up here. That's Lyra. Lyra, Lyra. Mm. And before I do my lips or my lashes, I'm going to be setting my face with my NYX Bear With Me setting spray. And first I'm going to be doing my lashes. This is the Tristique mascara, Good Vibes mascara. And for my lips, I have my NYX Liquid Lip Suede Cream Lipstick. This is in the shade Foiled Again. It's orange. Alright, so the lashes that I used, they're new. They are the Flirtatious Looks Monarch Lash. And the top one is baby girl. So it's supposed to be like cat eye like extending. If you watched my stream with Ryan, I just got these. So yeah, um, this is the final look. Yay. Um, it's definitely not as neat as I was hoping it would be. Um, I don't know. Sea stars are hard to draw. Okay. So, um, this is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you learned something and, oh gosh, yikes, I keep getting lipstick all over my lips. And I hope to see you on the next one.